Hi everyone, welcome back to Acres of Clay. Today is our first day of chopping some corn. I don't know how many day corn this is, uh, but it's some of our drier corn and we need to get going on that. We have a chance of rain tonight into tomorrow, so we're gonna try to get a bunch of it off today, see how far we get. And yeah, this is the beginning of corn silage harvest and I don't know how long it's going to take. Hopefully we have great weather so that we can hurry up and get it off. But this takes us a little while. I know some farms are able to do it within a day or two. But we don't have that manpower or the equipment to get ours off that fast. I forget how many acres. If I, if I remember, I'm going to ask Kevin how many acres we have to, to chop this year. I know we have 100 acres of earlidge and we're halfway done with that. We got that we got that first field off that I showed you in one of the previous videos and then the other fields that we have to do um, they're still green yet so they're there's um, so they're not quite ready so we're switching over to uh, corn silage now which is ready it's, uh, it looks dry from here the outside rows look kind of dry we'll see what it looks like in the middle though um, but we're gonna open up this field. We're probably gonna be opening up several fields today. We'll see how far we get. My windshield's gonna get dirty today.
time before a cold front comes through, which brings us a bunch of rain. The last few days, oh, I gotta wash my windshield. The last few days um, have been like almost record breaking temperature wise. We've been in the upper 80s, which for October is very warm. Um, it doesn't feel like harvest season. It feels like hot summer days. So um, I'm ready for a little bit cooler weather. Um, but hopefully we don't get so much rain that it makes it hard for us to get the rest of our corn off. Today we're going to hit it hard and try to get as much corn off as we possibly can. I know Sydney and Sanders have to go away this afternoon, so we're just going to try to get as much off as we can. Um, we do have Mackenzie here, so that will help. Otherwise, other than that, our pile is growing, which is great, and everything is flowing smoothly, working properly. Let's let's have another one of those kind of days. Got a fly in here. Yeah, I don't like flies in my car. Okay. So we're gonna get going. I get to drive the Volvo with the dump trailer uh, today. That's kind of what I've been running the whole time. New day, different field. We opened this field up a few days ago and. Today we're hoping to get most of it off. We'll see how far we get. Yeah, but the corn looks good and it's yielding right. So I'm just gonna keep running all day. so dirty. I should have washed it before we started. Oh well. Ethan's running the harvester today. This is some of our dryer corn.
cutting the footage. Not if it's bad, we're just cutting it. No. See, it's nerve wracking now because I got the YouTube followers watching me. And I'm not that good. And they're all going to judge me.
the trees are just starting to turn color. I think we've got another week and a half or so, maybe two weeks before their peak, but they're starting to look really pretty. Well, it's 4.30 and the rain has just started. You can see it on my window. I had to grab a sweatshirt for Kevin because he's pushing up and he's using the uh, cabless tractor. So hopefully the rain doesn't just start pouring. Hopefully it just spits a little bit. We probably have um, four, four or five more loads here and we should be done. So as long as the rain doesn't like start downpouring, we should be fine. Well, we had to quit chopping because of the rain. I was struggling in the field and I think Sydney was struggling too. So now we wait until we get uh, a little bit drier weather to finish it. We only got a few more loads on that field and we'd be done with that field, but I guess we'll let it dry out for a few days and see if we can get back in it. This is what the pile looks like so far.